Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Here is a Newton's Law type of question. And so let's quickly scan through the information. So we know that there is an applied force of 20 Newtons. They say that block X experiences a friction force of 1.2. All right, so that means there's friction force over here of 1.2 Newtons with the surface of the table. Okay, I didn't read that part, but that's actually important. There is no friction between block X and block Y. So there's no friction there. Sometimes there is. I have seen many questions where there is friction there, but for this one, there will be no friction. The tension in the string is T when block X, oh, here we go, check this, when block X accelerates to the right. So that's very nice. They're telling us the direction of motion. So we're gonna be moving in this direction. Now be careful, what does that mean for this one? Well, if you look at the way it wraps around here, it means that block Y is gonna go towards the left. You see that? So the first question says, Newton's second law. Now, remember, I've told you guys this before, each textbook has a slightly different answer. So my advice to you is to always use the definition that your teacher is giving you. But I'm gonna show you guys the most common definition that I see um, on a daily basis. And so if you wanna remember Newton's second law, just remember the formula that goes F net equals MA. Then what you do is you switch that formula around to get A by itself. And if you did that, you would get F net over M. What it says is that the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass that is acting on the object. You see, and that's what we're saying here, directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass. Next question, draw a free body diagram showing all the forces acting on block X. So let's look at this one. So we know that on block X, there would be gravity. There would be a normal force. There is an applied force. There is friction. And there's also the friction is over here, which we've already seen. And then there's also this rope that's keeping it back. And so that would be tension force. Now that's it. Some of you are gonna be like, yeah, but Kevin, my teacher said that when it's six marks, it means that there's six forces. Okay, so that's mostly correct. However, I've seen this question before in a different examination paper. And in that examination paper, there was actually friction between Y and X. And, and so whoever set this exam paper up, they got the idea from that exam paper and they used the same mark allocation, but this one doesn't have friction, whereas the previous exam paper I saw did have friction. So don't always look at the six marks and say, oh, okay, so now I need to have six things. It's true only 90% of the time, okay? Now, moving on to the next question, calculate the magnitude of the tension. Right, now, if you've watched any of my videos on Newton's laws like this, where we've got two objects that are connected with a rope, you would know the strategy that works very well. You know, the three-step strategy that we use in these questions. Step one, for those of you that haven't seen that before, we draw, or we do, yeah, we draw a free body diagram on each object. Step two, we use F net equals to MA on each object. And then step three, we solve. And normally this is gonna be simultaneous. And so then what I normally do is I divide my page in half and I do a free body diagram of the one object. So this would be object X, which we already did. And then this would be object Y. So for object Y, Let's be careful now, it's got tension force acting to the left, and it's got a normal force, it's got gravity, and that's all. Uh, if there was friction between these two, then obviously we would have added that in, but this question has no friction over there. So we've done the free body diagram on each object. Now, 
Going into step two, we have to use fnet equals to ma. To do that, you need to have an overall idea of what the system is doing. So we know that this block is going in this direction. And we know that this block over here is gonna move in that direction. So things are a bit weird. So for this block over, for, for block X, I'm gonna say all the force is going to the right. But then for this block at the top, for this block at the top, all the forces going to the left are gonna be taken as positive because those forces make positive acceleration for that object. So all of the forces going to the left for that one are gonna be positive. So it's quite weird. So then when we use F net equals to MA for this one, so all of the forces that are causing positive acceleration are going to be FA. Then we're gonna say minus, because these ones are going in the opposite direction, FT and then minus again, F. And then that's gonna be equal to MA. Now for this object, this FT, sorry, let me rather say FT here, that's causing positive acceleration. So we'll say positive FT, and there is no other force, and so that'll just be equal to MA. Now I'm gonna go full in as much as I can. So I know that the applied force is 20, the tension force we don't know, the frictional force acting on that object was 1.2, it has a mass of three, and the acceleration we don't know. Then for the other object, we're just gonna say FT, and that's gonna be equal to 2A. What we now do, well, let's first just combine these two numbers together. So that's gonna be 18.8. And so what we now need to do is just link this all together simultaneously. So I'm gonna get FT by itself over here. So that would be FT is equal to 18.8 minus 3A. And then I'm gonna make these two equations equal to each other. So that's gonna give us 18.8 minus 3a equals to 2a. And then that's gonna give 5a equals to 18.8. And if we have to solve by dividing by five, we get an acceleration of 3.76 meters per second squared. And then the question originally asked us for the tension force. And so you can either plug your acceleration back into here, or you can plug it into there, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use this one, it just looks a lot easier. So we can say FT is equal to two times 3.76. And so the tension force will be 7.52 Newtons. And so that's the end of this question. Thank you very much for watching.